so uh, Fairy Child was interesting. Um, I would say one of the weirder plays that we've read. Um, and nobody recognizes anybody, and nobody really directly talks to anybody. Um, they're all kind of just talking to themselves in this play, which is really interesting. Um, which we've seen some of before. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just gonna go through my start of pages, because it's, it's hard to have a general reaction to this play because, um, because of its strangeness and because what seems to be the moment in this play that's the most extreme, we don't even see, right? Um, so at the end, we have this skeletal child being carried in up to its mother. And there's implied action after, right, the, 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 the lights fade. Which is powerful and, and sort of a cliffhanger soprano moment. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's, huh, let's play. Um, <laughs> so I just zoned out because I'm. I it, it's hard, man. This is a, this is a weird play, and and nobody really talks about. I thought at the beginning that um, Hallie Haley um, was talking about Vince, but it wasn't Vince. It was she was putting her hopes on Tilden and then on Bradley, um, and then Ansel, right? And then Ansel dies. There's a lot of death in this family, my goodness. Um, and it's interesting because Dodge, early in the play, um, talks about how, you know, when, when, when Hallie says, um, you know, you sit here day and night, festering away, decomposing, um, you know, this is, you know, thinking up evil means stupid things to say about your own flesh and blood. Um, the words in this play are very purposeful in that regard, right? Um, when, you know, you know, decomposing, smelling up the house, festering, um, these are all things that can be applied to, uh, the very child, the titular very child out back. Um, and, you know, Dodge kind of engages her in that and says, he's not my flesh and blood, my flesh and blood's out there in the backyard. Which is interesting because it's not Dodge's kid. It's presumably Father Dewis's or somebody else's. Some you know, the breeder. The the breeder in Florida, maybe, right? The breeder man. Um Yeah, this is a man <laughs> this play. Um Let's see. Um so Vince shows up, and nobody knows who he is, and um, he's like, I'm your grandson, I'm your grandson, I'm your grandson, and they're like, I don't, and even his dad is, barely acknowledges his, his existence when he's there, and he's like, I, and, 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 and doesn't respond to dad when he, when he says, yeah, do you, do you want anything at the store, dad? Uh, he goes, me? Nobody has really, like, identity in this family, and that's what sort of Vince talks about at the end, is that when he when he's driving to Iowa, you know, he's losing his identity through his roots and his blood and, and seeing his father's face and then his grandpa's face and then faces he doesn't know of, of, of dead ancestors, sort of the way that, um, that Shelley imagines the, the family and sort of says that it's a prophecy of what the family was supposed to be and that they weren't that. Um, he sort of has that own moment, his own moment with that as well. Um, yeah, I, you know, what I think was interesting is I, I highlighted a couple of pages where um, the stage directions are really specific and sort of directing um, the director, right? 
um, and the actors, like on 110, Vince is smashing and hurling the bottles, and it says he punctuates the words Montezuma, Tripoli, Battles, and C with a smashed bottle each. And then it also says um, later on in in the in that stage direction on, on 111, um, he takes another bottle and makes the high whistling sound of a bomb and take and throws it toward right porch. Uh, sound of a bottle smashing against a wall. This right here. This should be the actual smashing of a bottle and not taped sound, um, which is interesting. I don't know if we've had that direct of a. It should be this um, from a playwright so far. Uh, maybe Tennessee Williams. Um, Tilden says things like, I thought I saw a face inside his face about Vincent. And then Vincent sees faces inside his face later on. There's a lot of like just clear, straight foreshadowing going on in this play. Um, I mean... In a play called Barry Child, you sort of expect it, right? Um, nobody wants anybody to go outside because that's where the kid is. Uh, nobody wants to talk about it, but everybody wants to talk about it, really. Um, yeah, who gives a damn about Bones in the Ground on 91 from Dodge? It's just, I mean, like... It's great, and I actually think I liked the, I think I liked this play. If anything, it's a little bit like too on the nose for me. Um, but I don't know, it was fun. It was upsetting and weird. Uh, and I think like the most interesting of the plays that we've read so far because of sort of the like uncertainty that we have of like how we're supposed to feel and uh i mean I, I imagine we're supposed to feel upset uh but uh yeah this is i don't know this, i i don't really have much more oh yeah i guess on 115 i highlighted that um in the sage directions as well as dodge proclaims his last will and testament um, I highlighted that he really does begin to just give a last will and testament, but it's not called that by him. It's just it's settling his affairs for him. Um, yeah, I think it's pretty much what I got for this one. I did highlight a bunch, but it's just sort of like, just, just about language. Nobody, and I don't, I don't really, the, the thing that I want to know is, What's the deal with with why Dodge cares about <laughs> calling a stool a chair? Don't call a stool a chair. It's not a, not a chair. It's a stool. And he really loves that milking stool. He like almost says that it should be put in that pile in his last will and testament, right? He he says <sighs> he says You know, all these things, right? My welding equipment, my shooting, my shoeing nails, my, my levels and bevels, <laughs> my levels and bevels, my milking stool. No, not my milking stool. Uh, set ablaze in the very center of my fields. I don't know what it is about that milking stool he likes so much. I don't think that they ever talk about it. That's just like a little bit of an intimate particular, intimate detail, just a texture to him maybe. Just as a weird dude, a bunch of weird people. I don't know why Shelly stuck around. I guess because it's a play, but I don't know. This was fun. I like this one. That's pretty much it.